All right, to be honest, I've really no idea how this is going to go. This is probably going to be very tough, especially since we all know franchise likes to just absolutely destroy players' ratings once they hit a certain age. Usually around 32, 33, they start to decrease very rapidly. And the old man rebuild is it's not going to be easy. Signing players 35 and over who knows what's going to happen. I expect to see a lot of players just drop like 15 ratings or so. So we'll have to see how it goes. I'm excited about it. If you are too, make sure you hit the like button down below. Let's aim for 200 likes on today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. You know, we're, we're literally like a handful away from 12,000. That would be awesome. This, you know, just awesome to hit that mark. And then obviously 15's next, 20K and so on and so forth. So let's just, let's keep growing the community. You guys have been amazing with the support lately. Down in the comment section down below, if you got any more rebuild ideas or challenges let me know and uh we'll definitely see if we can make it happen so with that being said i have mentioned only 35 and over that is the age requirement you got to be 35 and this is the squad i was able to come up with so i mean it's it looks decent right like the, there's some good players you got ben zobris miguel cabrera nelson cruz cano edwin encarnacion you know yadi's there we got ichiro on the bench the thing is they're just they're old so they're gonna decrease in rating so quickly it's it's gonna be tough you guys can see every, everybody here is at least 35 so and the season i simulated just like a day or two to get rid of some of the waiver claims that we had on our players so that i could actually call up some of the players that i wanted to use and we're only like two days into the season and you can see everybody's already decreasing. So we're, we're in a tricky spot already. Um, we got Verlander. I figured at least getting one good pitcher would help us out. We got Bartolo Colon, Jay Happ, CeCe Sabathia, and Rich Hill. This, oh man, I'm, I'm not feeling very confident. Nolasco, Hirano, Songwon Oh, Darren O'Day, Romo, Nishek, Perez, and Stammen. Everybody's 35 and older. And then we, we got a couple other players, you know, like uh, no one here, no one there. Uh, we got Fernando Rodney, who's down here as well. And then I'm hoping he doesn't retire. Troy Tulowitzki could be used next season and he'll actually be a shortstop rather than using Ben Zobris. So the only requirement is the player has to be 35 and older. That's it. Nothing else. So, I mean... There's really nothing else to really talk about. There's really not going to be any trades. Free agency is going to be difficult because we can only sign old players. So, I mean, the draft isn't going to be important because we're not able to use any of the players. So, I, I think that's it, right? There's nothing, you know, just let's get old players. Let's see if we can win a World Series. Yeah, let's get into it. All right, to be honest, I'm ex like just speechless i wasn't expecting to make the postseason this year and we made it 91 and 71 we're taking on the astros and i mean we got league leaders okay verlander and stamen so some pitching league leaders but holy cow we got some gold gloves too all right let's uh let's take a look see how things are brett gardner 252 okay ben zobras hit 289 but he's down to a 76 he was like an 87 when we started the year. Miggy's down to an 86. He actually didn't drop too much. Um, he had a pretty solid year, 41 home runs. Okay. Nelson Cruz, not too bad. Cano, I mean, overall the team hit like pretty solid. Like no one really did poorly besides Yachty. And then, yeah, I mean, offensively the team did pretty well. I'm actually kind of surprised. Verlander, solid. Bartolo Colon, I mean... I'm not going to complain about that from a, what, a 45-year-old? Oh, you know what? That's that's pretty impressive. J-Hap was a little disappointing. Um, CC Sabathia, not bad at all. And Rich Hill, a little disappointing. We got Ricky Nolasco, pretty solid from the long relief role. Hirano's lights out. Oh, eh, yeah. Darren O'Day was okay. Romo was a little little weak. Uh, Nishak was very good, very good. Perez was good. And then Stammen, just, he, he was amazing. 49 saves with only six blown saves and a sub one whip. Who would have thought these veterans were going to be out here um, just absolutely destroying it? 10 games out in the East. 
and the second best wild card spot. Oh jeez. I'm I'm actually kind of surprised that that happened. Like really surprised. So we're gonna play we're gonna we're gonna quick manage this game. And just because I'm kind of excited to see how things go. We made the postseason. That was that's just that's just an accomplishment in itself. We're gonna put Verlander against his former team. And uh let's 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 just try to win it, right? I mean we already got one run. Cano makes it a four-run game. Oh man. And we're still going? Six runs in the first? Wait, 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 wait. What's going on? Holy cow. This is insane. They're already on a their bullpen. We got Verlander wheeling and dealing. This is mind blowing. I didn't I was not expecting this from the 35 and over club. Okay. Been a little quiet since we, we put a six spot up there, but Verlander's got crazy amount of stamina still. Okay, okay. Yeah, like he's he just hit like the like a quarter down of his stamina. So I mean Verlander's gonna keep going. The veterans got it in him. Okay, all right, last inning. We're gonna let Verlander go nine. I mean, we're up seven, might as well, right? It's just unreal stuff. We won this nine or seven to two. Are you kidding me? Seven hits? I mean, Verlander was lights out. Who would have thought? Um, We do need to move Verlander down a little bit. Um, I don't have faith in rich hill so we're gonna do we're gonna do something like that i have i have faith in the squad all right let's let's see how we do against the red sox bartolo is killing it who would have like what oh lost us that game sabathia okay so we're facing elimination here so we're gonna might as well quick manage it hmm yankee stadium Verlander's tired, unfortunately. So do we go J Hap or Richard? We'll go J Hap and uh, <laughs> just hope we don't get. They got Pete Alonzo. All right. Ooh, double play. Okay. Okay. And then we hit into our own double play, unfortunately. And we're going against Chris Sale. Ooh, we we gotta hit. Mm, I'll take the run. I want the run. Zobris with a two-run double. This team's insane. This team's nuts. J Hap, I don't need you. I don't need you doing that, man. Come on. We had the three run lead in everything. We were looking really good, and you go and ruin it. First and second with one out. Yachty delivers. Okay. We got Ichiro playing. Wait a second. <laughs> How's he sneaking into the lineup all of a sudden? He's playing center? Okay. Um, We still have that one run lead. All right. We're going to take Hap out. Um. String of righties coming up. Let's go with Hirano. Mm -hmm. Okay. That always happens, right? We always do a sweat, uh, pitching change, and we always allow a run. It's just my luck. All right. Let's go to a lefty. Perez gets out of it. All right. Each run, I need you to get on. Okay. Maybe not. Mm hmm. All right. We're down to our last six outs. Can we do we got a double? Oh come on, give me it. No, a walk. Zobrist, please. Base is loaded for each row. Each row. This is your time to shine. Alright. Carson Smith versus Miguel Cabrera. We need one run. And I don't think we have like any but we do have ooh. I mean we got it, right? All right, scoring position. Oh, no way. Come on, Cano, walk it off. Ooh, all right, we got to do a, a substitution now because we got Gardner at first. Can we... Brandon Phillips doesn't. I don't think Russell Martin does either. We're in a bit of a pickle here. <laughs> um, And then... Can we just... Switch positions. We can't switch positions. Why can't I switch positions? It's not good. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. Nice. Let's go to day. Yep. 
perfect. All right, so we're down two again. We're going to walk. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. I left Oliver Perez in too long. That was that was on me. That was on me. Disappointed. Disappointed. But Cubs defeat the Red Sox. The crazy thing is we made it to the ALC. Yeah, no, I lied. We made it to the ALDS with a team that just is decreasing in rating so fast. We don't we have what three players 80 and above in this squad in the lineup. Even in the starting rotation, we only have 180, and in the bullpen, we have 380s. It's pff, the veteran squad's just taking over everything. So let's head into the offseason. Let's let's take a look and see how things are. I mean, I have a feeling a lot of players are gonna retire. Yeah, so <laughs> we lost like half our starting lineup. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be tough now. Each row's in the hall of fame. Exclusive negotiations. I mean, we kind of have to bring, you know, everybody who's old back um, because we don't really have a choice. <laughs> um, you know, we don't we don't really have a choice. Yeah, I mean, we, we need them. And uh, who, who knows what's going to happen. So let's bring everybody back. We'll do one year deals now just because I don't know if they're going to actually last longer than a year. And then see if we can pick up an, anybody up in free agency because you know you saw how many people left we we definitely need to bring some players back fernando rodney sticking around okay you know what i'll give him a two-year deal for sure nobody's gonna want him so <laughs> i'm not too worried about him dropping that low sergio romo howie kendrick all right and then the other guy all right cool so whew. Arbitration. I mean, I'll put these guys in. They're not going to make the squad. And then contracts. Again, I'll, I'll give them all contracts, but they're not going to make the squad. And we're going to have to sign some players to fill all those gaps we just we lost. Well, look, at, look at our lineup. Actually, we only lost Zobrist. Okay, so that's not too bad. Pitching rotation, though. We only have one starter. <laughs> Jeez. Alrighty, so lucas sims the cpu took a rule five draft pick not too sure why but we're gonna trade lucas sims for john lester i know max scherzer's 35 but we don't have the budget to acquire him um which sucks because he would actually be a really good pickup um so this is what our team's looking like post everybody leaving post like the old people retiring so i mean it's basically the same not too many changes mostly the starting rotation is the big change and this is how the squad looks marcakis has been brought in um that's that's really about it uh yeah i mean there's a couple other players that i'm kind of interested in trying to get um let me see if i can show you guys some of them so we got justin turner he would definitely be a good player to pop possibly pick up we could use a upgrade at third base um Maybe Brandon Morrow, he'd be a good little reliever. Um, Joey Votto maybe at first, but we already kind of have like plenty there. I thought about getting Jed Lowry, but I think we'll be okay for now. Um, our shortstop's Eric Ibar. So, I mean, we're, we're, we're in a tricky spot. I mean, Jed Lowry actually wouldn't be a bad pickup. He'd be one of our better players already. And then the other one I said was Justin Turner. He could come in too. That might actually be the move. I'm going to go try to get those two guys. Alrighty, so we need to come up with some cap space. So we're going to trade Yachty for Brian McCann, who is uh, 36. I know Cole Calhoun is not, so we're not going to use him. But I need to create some cap space to try to get at least Jed Lowry. All right, acquiring Cole Calhoun actually worked out really well. We're going to trade Gio Urshela, Cole Calhoun, and JP Fire the whatever his name is, for Jed Lowry. So Jed Lowry is going to play shortstop, and we actually have some somewhat of a shortstop i guess Alrighty, season two is gonna look like this we got gerard dyson jed lowry marcakis nelson cruz cabrera cano howie kendrick sin Su chu and brian mccann so on the bench we got gardner edwin and russell martin i mean obviously things are going to change depending on who we're facing and stuff like that but again it's it's an old squad our starting pitching looks pretty bad I mean, it's pretty comparable to what we had last year. Marco Estrada's new, Wade LeBlanc's new, 
Ricky Nolasco is leaving the bullpen to come into the starting rotation. We got Jason Vargas as our long reliever. Ah, I mean, these guys are basically the same as last year. So this part was pretty solid. I just don't know how the rest of the team is going to do. We're going to have to wait and see. You know, it, it could go good. I mean, last year we made the playoffs, so I guess I can't really complain. So let's see if we can do a repeat. Alrighty, so season two again. We're we're a postseason team. We made it through the wild card. We're taking on the Red Sox, and this team is surprising me like like crazy good. Most innings pitched by Justin Verlander, and awards. Hey, Robbie Cano's got two Gold Gloves. I'll take it. So let's take a look at the pitching. At deadline day, things were not looking good. So let's see how things went. Justin Verlander, pretty solid. You know, respectable stats. Lester. Eh, you know, eh. Marco Estrada, not too bad actually. Um, at the deadline day, he had like a four and a half ERA, so that's that's a big improvement for the second half of the season. Um, it's looking like our bullpen struggled a little bit. Hirano, pretty good. Romo, not too bad. Oh, okay. Darren O'Day, what? And then Craig Stammen. These two are just they're they're keeping our their bullpen together. They're keeping the bullpen together. Looking at the rest of the team, Marquecas had a pretty solid season. Jed Lowry had an amazing year. 321 average. What was his on base percentage? 401. That's gross. Those are gross numbers. Miggy had a good year. Nelson Cruz, the average is down, but still decent home runs and RBIs. Cano, 270. Okay, not too bad. Sinsu Chu struggled a little bit. Howie Kendrick, not bad. Almost a 280 average. Gerard Dyson struggled a little bit. And then McCann was meh. And then you guys can see on the bench, Edwin, not too bad. 272 average with a with 15 home runs. I'll take that. I'll take that for sure. So, I mean, the team, I mean, the team's putting a, a good fight up, you know, for a bunch of, a bunch of veterans, a bunch of old guys. They're, they're putting in some work. Um, so we're going to, we're going to hop into this one, see how things go. Take it on Chris Sale. It's, it's going to be a tough game. It's going to be a tough game again. Um, let's hope Verlander can keep us in it. Ooh, Okay. Not able to take advantage of that. Okay, they got Pete Alonso. I think we mentioned that last season because we we played them last year, and we're down two nothing. It, it really should be two to one. Okay, now it's three nothing. So that's not good. Oh, this might get ugly. Oh boy. Six. Can we get some sort of like comeback going? Maybe. Just maybe. Uh, Verlander's done, unfortunately. Vargas is going to come in. He might get rocked a little bit, but ooh, we got three speed on first. Man, lightning, lightning McQueen over there at first base. All right, so no runs. Been scored for a bit, but we're still down six. All right, I'm not taking any chances. Let's get that sack fly in. We're on the board. We're on the board. Oh, man. Eight to one. <sighs> We're getting double plays now. Oh, we got a run. Okay, eight to two, eight to three. The comeback's on, boys. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just, just, shh, 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 shh. it's okay. It's okay. Can we do it? Seven in the ninth. No, we are eliminated. So this time, not not as good as last year. Definitely not as good as last year. Let's see who wins the World Series this year. The Dodgers defeat the Astros. And let's see how much of our team we lose. I'm a little worried to see that we might lose quite a bit. So we lost the shortstop, a couple pitchers. Okay, so not as bad as I thought. Pitching is going to be a necessity um, this coming year. I mean, we might as well bring back everybody for at least a season. Just because I don't think we're going to get much better. Everybody else has been pretty solid. Like, these two were just lights out. I definitely want to bring them back for sure. Um, Brian McCann. There might be a catcher who's available. There might be a better outfielder. Um, Nick Markakis was, like, really good. So, we're going to bring him back. Edwin. To be honest, I want to see if there's other players available that are a little bit better. Just so I don't want to invest all my money just yet. So let's let's just keep moving forward. Let's see what we can do here. Arbitration wise. So O is gonna get it. I mean we'll give it to everybody, but obviously we won't use them. Contracts kind of the same way. It's not gonna be important. So 
I mean, this is kind of the make or break year. This is season three. We're really going to push to make a World Series appearance. If it goes poorly, maybe we'll try another season. But this one, this one might be the last year. I really feel like we're going to have a couple players who are going to sneak into that 35 age category. They're going to be really nice to pick up. So uh, let's, have, let's see how this offseason treats us. And hopefully we can get a pretty solid team heading into next season. All right, season three, we're going to make a trade. We're going to send Darren O'Day to the Cubs for Brandon Morrow. Um, a little bit younger, a little bit higher overall, and uh, just hoping the strength in the bullpen a little bit. All right, still with that trend of helping the bullpen, we're going for Will Harris of the Astros. Stats look really good. We're getting rid of um, Carano, who's down to like a 73, 74. So again, we're really trying to strengthen this bullpen so we can at least have some some sort of you know safety net in case our pitchers do pretty poorly. Alrighty, so we're gonna get rid of Robinson Cano just because he's down to a 69 overall. He's not really the same hitter as he used to be, and we're gonna go for the like third baseman, second baseman of uh, Matt Carpenter. I mean, the age is you know a couple years off, but better hitter. And I'm hoping he can fill that second base spot a little bit better. All right, so season three, this is how we're looking. We got Daniel Murphy's a new addition. We got Marcakis. Justin Turner is our highest rated player. And I'm hoping he can kind of lead us to victory. Um, we also got Matt Carpenter, who I moved to second base. Um, we got Nelson Cruz. He's still here. Miguel Cabrera, Jed Lowry, Francisco Cervelli's new, and Adam Jones is new. We literally have like almost all the highest rated position players in our lineup like this is probably one of the better teams we could get for 35 and over which i mean the team doesn't look terrible i still think we could potentially be a playoff team it all depends on this group right here so arietta's new charlie morton's new cole hamill's new geo gonzalez is new in the bullpen i mean will harris is new uh we got melanson brandon morrow and then also andrew miller so I feel like we've we've definitely made some upgrades compared to previous seasons so it all just depends on like are we, are we gonna do good at the deadline it's time to move on from justin verlander and instead we're going after max scherzer he's two overall higher i'm hoping that kind of helps us out the old men have done it again 90 and 72 a wild card team taking on the mariners and uh, it looks like, again, some league leaders. Saves for Andrew Miller, 50. Okay. All right. And then awards another gold glove. Interesting. So when we look offensively, we'll take a look at a bench first. Um, they're not terrible. Definitely not terrible. Just not amazing. Daniel Murphy hit almost 40 homers and 109 RBIs. Huh? Um, Nick Markakis hit over 300. Justin Turner had a very solid season. He hit almost 40 home runs. Huh? Uh, 300 for Nelson Cruz. 286 for Miggy. I mean, these guys are actually hitting the ball really, really well. Like, scary good. Just unreal. And then when we look at the pitching rotation, Max Scherzer had a phenomenal season. Um, Arietta pretty solid as well. John Lester, eh. You know, Charlie Morton, not not great. Cole Hamill's not great. I don't want Luis Cesa up. Um, can I call him up? I can. And I want him off the lineup. Perfect. All right. So we got Gio Gonzalez, Harris, Stammen, Romo. Lanson, Moro, and Andrew Miller. We're missing one more. Who are we missing? Um, uh oh, that means someone really fell off. Oh, really fell off. Do we bring him up? Or do we keep the extra bench bat? I guess we leave him off the lineup. I guess we leave him off the lineup. So, this is how we're rocking. I mean, Will Harris, phenomenal. Stamming really well, like, really good season. Brandon Morrow, very good. Andrew Miller, how many saves did you blow? Six? I mean, not terrible at all. When he had 50 saves, I'll definitely take that. So overall, again, a three-season postseason team. This team is crazy for a bunch of old guys. Like, who would have thought these guys would have been able to compete with, you know, all these young superstars that are in that, the majors? So 
let's let's do it let's just hop into it see how season three plays plays out so we're gonna be at home yankee stadium scherzer's gonna take the mound for us our lineup's gonna stay the same i'd actually rather whatever let's get into it so looking at the mariners lineup it looks like the only change is Didi gregorius is at short and aaron hicks is in center okay all right so good inning for us facing kikuchi first and second not able to capitalize that that's disappointing yes we get out of that okay all right first and second with one out can we get something out of it come on we got we need to score we got to take advantage of of you know runners in scoring position and we don't again that's three straight innings where we get first and second with you know like one out and we don't capitalize what is going on we got a guy in scoring position again bases loaded please please there we go we get two runs there oh we get a third even better one come they oh no no all right like, think of all these opportunities we've had with runners in scoring position, and we weren't able to take advantage of it. Scherzer's going to be done, unfortunately. Um, he's facing a lefty, so we'll bring in the lefty to... Eight to three, and that, that might be the season right there. That might be it. We've... Three innings where we had runners in scoring position, not able to take advantage of it, which is really disappointing because this would have been a closer game. We would have been in a good spot. We're bottom eight. All right, we're heading into the ninth, down five. And that is where the old men's, you know, rebuild is going to end. Season one was our best. Unfortunately, we just, we just weren't able to... You know, I'll, 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 I'll make it full screen. We just weren't able to take advantage of it. And to be honest, I think it might be, you know, complete luck if you ever make the World Series. Because when you look at the squad, you're looking at everybody is over 35. Everyone decreases in rating so quickly. Um, it's, it's really difficult to keep a good rating. I mean, pitchers usually hold on to the rating. But once you start getting into position players, that's, that's when you kind of get stuck with just players who are going to decrease really really quickly we'll take a quick look at the squad you guys can see it as a whole i mean justin turner held his rating pretty well um, matt carpenter did jet lowry did but you can also see that some players are really starting to fall off i mean we we got an old squad 36 37 36 again i mean 40 for nelson cruz i mean we, you're, you're looking at a, a pretty a pretty old squad so I mean, who would have thought? Three straight playoff appearances. I mean, that's still pretty solid. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. You know what? I know I mentioned 200 likes. Let's try to pass that. Let's go for let's go for a thousand likes on this. You know, this MLB rebuild challenge, the 35 plus challenge. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. You know, we've hit we're you know 12,000 plus. Let's try to hit 15,000 next. That'd be amazing to hit that number. And uh, in the comment section below, let me know some other challenges that you have. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.